just need to attach this here. This cable goes there. All right, all set. Let there be light. <laughs> wow, that is strong. It blinded me for a moment there. Wait, what's that? It's, it's a light there on the horizon, flashing red. It must be, it has to be Luke. Let's go. right? What are you doing here? It's been a while. Well, I heard the good news. You are the man of the moment. I thought I would stop by and shake hands. Oh, thanks a lot. Um, that's, that's very nice of you. Oh, I, well, I know this has nothing to do with me, but I just wanted to congratulate you myself. And who knows? Have a couple of beers, meet some people, maybe even dance a little. <laughs> Great party! Thank you. And yeah, it is. Why aren't you at your own party? If you don't mind me asking. I... I needed to get away for a while, you know? Life has been chaotic for so long. The waiting and the not knowing and now suddenly things kind of worked out. It's strange and... Overwhelming. I can only imagine. What you did is unbelievable. It feels like a dream, to be honest. It feels like I'm waiting to wake up to find out reality is a nightmare where my family has left me, my project failed, and I have nowhere to go and no one to turn to. Come on, Luke. You know that's not true. I know. I seems like a long time ago I decided I would commit to this. I don't think anyone understood why I had to do it, but I just couldn't not. And it seems that everything is on the edge, that all I conquered is so fragile and about to crumble. Here I am, with a party thrown due to the company I set up, the best of possible worlds. A supporting family rooting and happy for me. It really is overwhelming, too good to be true. So I, I needed a moment to catch my breath. I can't imagine what you've been through. One can't quit, right? No, one cannot. I think I'd better leave you in peace for a while. No, please stay. I sometimes get away from people to be able to breathe, but it's, it's not that I like being alone. I understand. How are Rita and Anne doing? They're fine. Thanks for asking. Rita is always cheerful. God, how I envy her. As for Anne, she's been growing, you know? So, so quickly. Very soon she won't be my little Anne anymore. It's so strange, satisfyingly surreal, and there is a, a kind of sadness seeing my little girl bloom into a woman. An egotistical kind of sad, I have to confess. They grow up, but they never stop feeling like our little baby, right? I try not to say it to her that often now, but yes, that's exactly how it feels. Luke?
Hello there. Hi. You don't seem to be here for the wedding reception, am I right? Wedding reception? <laughs> you don't need to play the fool with me. I wasn't invited to this as well, don't worry. You just need to jump the railing ahead and get yourself a wonderful treat. I recommend the lobster and the filet mignon. Avoid the shrimps though, they taste funny. I... Uh, thank you. You're welcome. It's delicious. Do you know whose wedding it is? No, not a clue. I just live nearby and the catering at this place is generally fantastic. Okay, so uh, I'll be right back. Oh, and hey, if they cut the cake, please come and get me. It also looks delicious. I love raspberries. Uh, sure, don't worry. Have fun. Just married. Ah, who might the happy couple be? Did, did, did something just happen? What? Hey. Hello. How's it going? I'm great, thanks. You? Yeah, I'm good. Great wedding, isn't it? Oh, it's really beautiful. How do you know the happy couple? Well, uh, I'm actually a friend of the bride's father, Luke. Luke Williams? I'm a good friend of his. Really? My name's Simon. Oh, nice to meet you, Simon. I'm John. Where do you know Luke from? I worked with Luke and Michael when they first started the company. I left right before the company boomed. It wasn't exactly what I wanted to do with my life. Have you been in touch with them? Not as much as I wanted, but yeah, a little. I tried to talk to them today, but still haven't been able to. Well, how come? Well, Luke's still inside the church with his little arm, and Mike, well, as always, is talking to a woman. To a woman? Don't get me wrong, he's a wonderful, wonderful guy, but he's kind of a player, you know? Sarah, the lady's talking to, is on the other hand very sweet. Oh, she does seem lovely. Does she work for the company? No, no, she's an old friend of Luke and Rita's. I don't know much about her other than she's just a really nice person. And well, she loves dogs and musical theatre. Always going on about it. I can introduce you to her if you like, as soon as Mike over there lets her catch some air. Oh no, that's, uh, that's not what I meant. But thanks, Simon. I think I'll grab something to eat. Go ahead. The lobster is particularly tasty. Oh, thanks for the tip. See you. Isn't it too cold? Sorry? The water. Oh, no, my, it's perfect. It's so hot today, the coldness feels wonderful. Care to try? <laughs> uh, no, thank you. I'm John. John Stevens. Hi, I'm Carol. Were you here for the ceremony? I couldn't make it on time. I was. It was so beautiful. What a shame. The beginning was magical. There was a man by the door preventing all of us from going in. No one knew what was going on. And then the string quartet began to play. The doors from the church opened and we went in to see Anne in her gorgeous dress smiling at us from the altar. 
Oh, really? That's a twist. It was so beautiful. Again, shame you couldn't make it. Indeed. Well, I think I'll say congratulations to the happy couple, then. Go do that. Although, I think you'll have to wait a while. They're still inside, and that man is blocking the door again. Oh, well, I'll see what I can do. Bye. Bye. Michael? Sorry, do I know you? Yes, we, we met before. I needed to talk to you. I'm having a conversation. Can it wait? No, it's urgent, Michael. What's the urgency about? Just leave me be, man. There you go. No way. You really brought me the cake. Thanks. Now I owe you something. No, not at all. Here. It's all I have in my pocket right now. A piece of paper? Well, it's a business card. I was trying to mingle with other people at the party. Most of the guests have newborns, you see. So I pretended I had one as well and was looking for a new pediatrician. This man, I think he was the godfather to the bride, he just handed me this card. He is apparently a renowned doctor, and he told me he knew a lot of great, reliable pediatricians. Well, I just smiled and thanked him. Cool design though, right? Hello. Sorry to bother you. Do you do requests? Hi. Well, we haven't got much rehearsed. We could play the wedding march again, the one that initiated the ceremony. It's a lovely piece for strings and harp. Even though we have no harp here, everyone at the end congratulated us as they could hear it. Weird, isn't it? Anyway, do you want to request any particular song? We may know it. Thanks. But, uh, but not yet. Anytime. Hello. Hi. Hey. I was saying to Neil here how much I loved the ceremony. My God, it was fantastic, wasn't it? I've just arrived. Unfortunately, I, I didn't catch the majority of it. So you're here just for the food, right? <laughs> Don't be so unpleasant, Neil. I was just making a joke. Jeez. I'm Neil, by the way. John. I'm Heather. Are you here alone? For the bride or the groom? Well, uh... I'm a close friend of the bride. So are we. I don't think we've ever met. How do you know Anne? Anne? You know, uh, 
I used to spend my summer holidays in a house my parents had in the woods. Her parents had a house there too, so... Uh... Really? We heard a lot about their little house. She always says how she's had such a lucky childhood, being able to explore such fascinating places. I've never been there. Is it as beautiful as she says? Oh, you should definitely go when you have the chance. It really is. We have to ask Anne to take us on a tour there. And Eli? Yes, of course. It's Anne and Eli's now. Do you think she's going to change her name? Anne D. Levitt? Has a nice ring to it, doesn't it? I think she really likes Williams. Anyway, do you know where they are? I still haven't been able to talk to them. They are still inside the church, but you may need to wait. No one is allowed to go in, and there's a guy there making sure that no one does. Oh, thanks. It was nice meeting you. Same, and come by whenever you want. Ciao. Bye. The ceremony has already ended. The happy couple and close family are taking some photos inside. Please kindly wait outside. Oh, okay. Want us to play something else? Could you play the song that started the ceremony? Sure. Ready, guys? Ready! Luke, hi! John, you came? How are you? I'm alright, and you? Magnificent. Anne, do you remember John, darling? I don't think so. Oh wait, I do! By our country house. My, it was so long ago. You were on a hike and you... helped me with something? <laughs> That's right. I have a great memory, don't I, Daddy? You sure do, sweetheart. I'm so glad you managed to come, John. Oh, I, uh, I, I wouldn't miss it. Time sure flies. Can you imagine I just got married? It... It seems hard to... That's, that's for sure. <laughs> well, congratulations, Anne. Thank you, John. I'm very happy to see you here. Me too. I haven't seen you in years, but still, it seems like it was only yesterday that you showed up at our door. You were so little, Anne. Always climbing up trees and riding on your swing. And now look at you. I sometimes wish you would stop growing up. I know, Daddy. Oh, by the way, Luke, how's the company doing? It's doing well. Thanks for asking. Loads of work, but one can't change the world without it, so... Of course. I'm glad. Thank you, John. But today is Anne's day. No more talk about work. Oh, never mind me, Danny. No, not today. There will be plenty of other days for me to ramble on about myself. Of course, you're right. Well, I think I'll. Uh, I think I'll go. Uh, see if I can. Uh, see if I can catch something to nibble at. And do that. As long as you don't touch the cake. Hope you enjoy the food, John, and once again, thank you for coming. My pleasure. See you later. Hello. John, hi. It's been quite some time since I've last seen you. It has. How have you been? Good, thanks. It's so kind of you to drop by. Oh, it's nothing. Uh, what are you still doing inside? Waiting for the photographer. Do you imagine? Want me to take a couple of photos of the family? 
<laughs> no, thanks. You must be here any minute. Have you eaten anything yet? No, I haven't. Uh, I know you weren't counting on me. Oh, grab something. There's always so many leftovers after a wedding. <laughs> That's true. I'll do that. Is everything well with Luke? You just passed by him. Go and say hi, you'll be happy. Okay, thanks. Will do. Nice to see you again. The doctors were right. Whatever happened to Luke, his mind sure is trying hard to forget. Something is definitely not right. The girl hasn't aged at all. I should go find something else. There has to be a flaw somewhere. really need to talk to him. I'm sure something must have gone wrong with the company. It has to be. But I need to get his attention first. So, are you still by yourself? Yeah. I'm actually about to leave, but I still want to have a word with Michael and Luke. Anything I can do to help? If you could find a way to distract Sarah, or maybe get Luke out of the church. You don't sing, do you? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's too bad. If you'd go to the bandstand and start singing something from Phantom of the Opera, or Cats, or even Hamilton, Sarah would instantly ignore Michael and focus on the song. That's guaranteed. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Want us to play something else? I was wondering, could you play anything from a musical? From a musical? Well, we actually performed in an amateur production of Freedom Again a couple of weeks ago. Really? And would they let you play something from it? They actually encouraged us to advertise it. Just a little piece of it, of course. Oh, that's great. Could you play it, please, then? Hmm, <laughs> of course. Ready, guys? Ready! Oh, come on, really? You made the string quartet play this? God, how I love this song. It's from that new musical I was telling you about. Let me just finish listening to this number and we'll continue our chat, all right? Of course. Hi, Michael. Hey. Do you have a moment? Well, if it's just a moment. I wanted to talk to you about your company. Wait a minute. I know you from somewhere. You used to work for us, right? I know. You were fired. Ah, you heard that I succeeded Luke as a CEO of the company, and you're trying a luck with me now. Am I right? Sorry, pal. I'm not lowering the moat for you. Wait, what? Luke is no longer the CEO. Please, don't come on all innocent on me, man. No, seriously, I had no idea. What happened? You... You really have no idea. Well, he stepped down. That's what happened. Why? I have no idea, if you can believe that. He asked me to trust him, with no questions asked and no explanations. Absolutely nothing. Nada. Zilch. And as a best friend, I both wanted to trust him and ensure everything was fine. But well, here I am, still as clueless now, as the day he stepped down. Is he still working for the company, or...? No, I have no idea what he's doing. But with the shares he's sold, he probably doesn't need to work for a while. Wow, 
I, uh... Thanks, Michael. You're welcome. I need to talk to Luke. Uh, thanks again. He's inside the church with Anne and Rita. See ya. Please, sir. I told you already, haven't I? Kindly wait outside. Please. Oh, yes. Right. Want us to play something else? Could you play the song that started the ceremony? Sure. Ready, guys? Ready! Luke. John, did you get something to eat? No, not yet. Look, can I ask you something? Sure. What's the matter? Why... Why did you step down from your company? Ah, Anne, darling, isn't that the photographer looking for you? Oh, it is. I'll let you two speak. We'll talk later, John. See you later, Anne. I... Who told you that? I was talking to Michael and... What happened, Luke? It was pretty straightforward. My mother died, John. Your mother? Yes. She got extremely sick and I... I had to take care of her. All my energy had to be dedicated to her. Eventually she passed away. I'm sorry to hear that. It's okay. There was nothing we could do. Can we please change the subject now? This is neither the time nor the place for this. Sure. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. Rita, may I ask you something? Oh, hi there, John. Yes, of course. What's up? How hard did Luke take it? Uh, his mother's death, I mean. Oh, pretty hard. She was still young. But that was years ago. Anne was nine or ten years old, so... That long ago? I would no idea. Yeah, Luke was down for quite a while. I thought it was much more recent. How did he handle it? There's this old recording of his mother singing to him when he was a baby. He used to tuck Anne in her bed with that little doll that belonged to his mother. And he'd sing that same song to get her to sleep or whenever she was feeling blue. During the period after Isabel passed away, he listened to that recording almost every day. One night he fell asleep on the couch and when I went looking for him, he had a headset over his ears and that doll held against his chest. I guess it was his way to keep her close to him. Of course. It makes sense. Well, he eventually got over it. Apparently. After all, it's only natural that you see your parents die and not the other way round. I also believe his work helped him cope. His work? I thought he left the company to take care of his mother. What? No, um, not at all. It was all so fast. Actually, the company took off slightly after she passed away, thankfully. I can't even dare to imagine what would have happened if you went bankrupt. But... you're saying he's still the CEO of the company? He is, yes. I... Well, thank you, Rita. You're welcome, John. Luke, I've just been talking to your wife. She said your mother died years ago, and that you... Are you still head of the project? 
Of course. <laughs> Are you okay? But you just said... What? Well, that your mother got ill and that you had to leave the company. You chose Michael to replace you as CEO. Oh yeah. That's right. It's been quite a while since then. I... what? If you'll excuse me, I need to go and find my daughter, okay? Luke. The photographs won't take too long and we can continue our talk then. I... Okay, Luke. Goodbye, John. And thank you again for dropping by. You're welcome. Ugh. I need to have access to his deeper dream. How can I do that? Something is clearly not right. You seem a bit lost. Waiting for the uh, married couple. You? I can't stop playing the ceremony over in my mind. The moment the music started and the doors opened, I want my wedding to be like this one. Want us to play something else? Can I ask you a big favor? If we're able to help, sure. This is going to sound weird, but can you play the song Luke's mother used to sing to him? Luke also sang it to Anne, so I'd like to surprise them. Which song is it? I, uh, I don't know. <laughs> so how are we going to play it? Just... Play it. What? Please, trust me. Just put your bows on the strings and move them. Please. Okay. You'll see how that sounds. <laughs> Ready, everyone? You've got to be kidding me. Okay, here we go. What in the world? I'm not controlling my arm. It's working. God, we thank you for the life that you give us. It is full of work and of responsibility, of sorrow and joy. Today, we thank you for Isabel Foster Williams, for what she has given and received. 
Help us in our mourning, and teach us to live for the living in the time that is still left to us. Give her, O Lord, your peace, and let your eternal light shine upon her. Amen. Let us go in the peace of the Lord. Reverend. Good evening. I'm so sorry for your loss. Thank you. I didn't know Mrs. Williams personally, however. I'm a friend of her son, Luke. Ah, I see. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to be present in such a day. It is very important for the family of the deceased, especially when the family is so close like the Williams, and when death knocks sooner than we will live it should. Did you know Isabel? Yes, quite well. She used to go to the church in my parish every Sunday. Luke never told me she was ill. Was it unexpected? Yes, everything happened pretty quickly. All very unfortunate. One day I caught Luke alone in the church, praying. And like his mother used to do, he seldom goes there. I talked to him and he told me that she was actually very lucky. How come? She was born with the illness that eventually took her over, but was kept dormant for many decades. The doctor said it could have manifested itself at any age. But what struck me the most was that he, at that moment, was not praying for his mother to be well. He was asking God for forgiveness, for he had spent the last seven days praying for his mother's life when she was provided with a miracle and lived healthy for more than 60 years, when so many others barely stand a chance to live. Uh, Reverend. God understands that. God understands that selfishness is a consequence of human relationships. It is one of the toughest emotions, being divided between the love that blinds reason and the guilt that darkens the heart. But he'll find peace again. And as for her, she's surely close to God now. May she rest in peace. I can't imagine what it is to feel the way he's feeling. It is up to us that we may love them to help them grieve and move on. I'll do my best, Reverend. Do you know where I can find him? He was here a few minutes ago. No, I do not. I saw him talking to a man whom I have never seen before. It worried me, I must confess, as he was very distressed. I hope no bad news piles up on such a weakened mind. I haven't seen him since. Thank you so much, Reverend. I'll look for him. Thank you. May God be with you. <laughs> 